So I want to start this video out with my pitching settings. So again, if you don't know where settings is, it's the top right part of the main menu. You go to settings, go to gameplay, and you go to pitching. Pitching difficulty, doesn't matter, that's just against the computer. Pitching interface, it is pinpoint. If you play this game, you have to use pinpoint. Meter and classic, just don't, and pure analog, just don't give the same precise pitching as pinpoint. It's really the only interface you can use online. It's the one I use, so, and that's the one I use in this video. The other thing I'm gonna be going over is my pitching view. I get this asked a ton of time. What's my pitching view? It is the show 15. You can really use anything you want for pitching. Um, I just think pitching or the show 15 gives me the best. What's what's the word I'm looking for? It basically gives me it's the way I pitch the best, right? This is what I like it. Um, I, I know where to throw the pitch low, I know where to throw it inside, I know how to get people to swing up and out of the zone. So you can try this and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, you just play around with it and use whatever you want. And the other question I get asked, I mean a hundred times is how do I get the arrows when you're pitching? You go to pitching ball marker, you turn classic on, you have those arrows every time you see me pitch. This is how it is, you put classic on, but again, it's all preference, but these are my settings. You wanna pause the video, use my settings, get used to them, you can. I love my settings again, but again, all these type of settings is just preference besides pinpoint. Gotta use pinpoint. So let's get on with the video again. This is not a typical tip video where I'm just telling you one or two things. I go over a whole game and every thought I have while pitching to an opponent. So I hope you guys enjoy. This video is gonna be a little bit different. Look, the last couple of videos have been highly edited. This one's gonna basically not be edited at all, right? I just wanna go through my process of pitching, why I throw each pitch, why I tunnel the pitches the way I do, everything, any thought process I have behind pitching, you guys are gonna hear it in today's video. That's all this video is about, right? Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys my at-bats, but it's gonna be a lot, wow, this guy's played a couple games, huh? It's a lot of it is just gonna be me pitching and show you guys why I'm using or why I'm throwing the pitch in one situation, why I'm not doing it, right? So we're in the first inning. What I wanna do right off the bat is see if my opponent is gonna be late on sinkers and cutters and things like that. So right away, we're just gonna attack on what sinkers up and away. Typically, I like going up and away. Okay, that see. That shows me this guy may be able to hit the baseball, right? That was a really good swing. He, I think he just missed it, but his timing was right there, which is scary. So when I see that type of swing, right? He has good timing. That's like a really good swing. He probably just wasn't on it with the PCI. What that shows me is maybe he's gonna be good at going pitches away. So we're gonna go righty righty. He might have trouble with this pitch. See, he's late. That shows me he did not have the timing, but now you gotta think, Will he be ready for that sinker? If he is, he is. We're gonna go right back to it. No, he's late on it. Oh, See? So now there's either two things that can happen in this scenario here. He either makes the adjustment and he's early on it, or he's gonna stay late on it. I'm actually gonna go completely different here. And instead of going back to that pitch, I think he's ready for it. We're gonna see if he's gonna chase a slider out of the zone. And he did, right? He's probably waited on that inside sinker. And when you see that, you just go away and you can get the strikeout with the slider. Let's go inside with the cutter here. Good take, good inside, take. Ball one. I need to dot inside. that. We're two of this, not a good situation. We're gonna go try to get him off balance here and maybe try to get him roll over with a change up. Just gotta locate it, that is not a good fit. Okay. This guy may be really good at hitting with his lefties over his righties. In the back of my mind now, and in his mind, he knows that I blew him away with those sinkers. So let's see how he reacts to the cutter. He's out in front of it. He was sitting on the sinker. I knew it, he knew it, and he kind of just lazily flies out to left. That was a great inning. Let's get some runs. Okay. I am late right now. I gotta figure out hitting wise. First game of the day is usually not my best. Oh, Frankie. Off PCI nuke? That's just rude, Frank. I mean, not only is it an off PCI nuke, that is a complete no doubter. Wow, I'm that early on that? That's fine, we got one, let's go pitch. It's time to go back with that inside sinker, see if he's made an adjustment. Uh -oh. He has. He has, okay, this guy, this guy can hit. I do not like the swing, oh my God, I cannot. 
Dude, who does this guy think he is? He was 28 and 22. He is raking the ball. This is going to be a good video to show you guys, too. Because when you're facing a hitter who's hitting like this and it's on all-star, it is difficult. We just got to try to find any weak spot possible, right? He swung at two pitches in a row. It's going to kind of go out of, off the plate here. Yeah, he's super aggressive, you see? We got to use his aggressiveness against him. There it is. That's what I'm saying. We got to use his aggressiveness against him. See if he's going to chase the pitches out of the zone. He is. He's just got... That's a great pitch. When you throw this pitch, you have to make sure it is a ball. That's... No way. Acuna makes that. Thank you, Ronald. Throw him out! No shot! The cheese! Let's go! Wow! That's a double play. That's huge right there. We needed that. Again, this guy is super aggressive. We already know that. When you face somebody who's aggressive, you have to use their aggressiveness towards them. Don't give them strikes because they're going to hit moonshots against you. Make them get themselves out. You got to make them get themselves out. We throw a cutter in on the hands, and just like that, we only give up one run. That was a good inning for us. Chase Udley. Is that gone or is that off the wall? That's a good swing. We take that. That's going to be a uh, leadoff double. That's such an awful... What am I doing? Oh, I dropped. I keep doing that this year. I keep just dropping. And that's the pitch I take a good swing on. Good thing this is not a hitting tips video with the way I'm hitting the first two innings. For the pitcher... Pitchers are dangerous. They are dangerous. You give up a lot of hits to pitchers. You kind of got to pitch around them like they're a hitter, but still make sure you throw them strikes. That's not what I want to do. At least it worked no out. Balls, two strikes. Here, we're just going to get him to chase. Just get him to chase, and that's an easy out. Trying to get a grounder here. One pitch out. Good take. We're going to go right back to that pitch. Kurt Gibson's kind of like closed in. It's kind of hard to turn on the ball with him. Hey! Any player that's closed in, I love attacking them inside. I showed them back-to-back -back sinkers here. I can kind of go a couple of different ways. We're going to see if he's going to swing at that inside slider again. He is. Again, all we're doing right now is using his aggressiveness oh. towards him and making him get himself out. A lot of people I know, like I said, I kind of touched on this earlier. They throw the sinker right here. If you throw the sinker there and the hitter's ready for it, it's going to be a home run. What you really want to do is get this inside on the hands, so if they turn on it, it's an easy out. That's a, just a little too far in. Nope. Got to be careful here. Tatis is scary. We get him the chase, and he pops it up the trout. That should be another one, two, three inning. We're pitching well so far. This video's going well so far, but we got to put up a couple. Corbin Burns. This is what I'm saying. Pitchers hit really, really well this year. What am I doing? That's not going to be a double play. Trap's too fast. <sighs> Wake up. We're going to get it together, and we're going to put up six runs in an inning. It's coming soon. Let's see if we react to like a, a sinker up in the zone here. That's such a good pitch right there. Because off that pitch, you can go so many ways. I kind of talked about tunneling earlier, or at least brought it up. What tunneling is, is when you throw one pitch, and then you throw another that looks like that same pitch. So what I'm trying to say, let's try to tunnel here, okay? We're going to go cutter, and got to dot this here. We didn't dot it. But what we can do from there is go to the sinker here. He might think it's a cutter, and he could roll it over. He, he went for it. He could have thought that was a cutter. It's going to be an out. That wasn't the best, uh, that wasn't the best definition of tunneling there because I missed my cutter. Basically what tunneling is, you just try to make one pitch look like another and you get the batter to think that and then you can get him to chase whatever you want. Like here, that was a sinker. If I throw a cutter right here, that could look like that sinker and you might roll it over. Beautiful. Exactly what I'm looking for on that swing. Frankie, no. Oh, brother. 
Oh, that's the worst. That's just nothing you can do there. That was a great pitch. We got the exact result we want. And now our prize is we get to face Juan Soto. And here he's going to be patient, isn't he? Yep. Well, he's going to be patient. Quick. We got lucky. That was a bad pitch. That was a bad pitch. Acuna, the shift is on. We sway back. Beautiful swing. Acuna is unbelievable. I did not just do that. Not a double play, though. I kept it fair. I kept it fair. Why are we going back to second? That is not That's not on this field. That is gone. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but it is gone. Clemente. That is the worst pitch I've ever seen in my life. To the moon! I told you we're putting up five to six runs this inning. I have a hard time catching up to that fastball with Tatis. I don't know what it is. And we're only... Corbin Burns is two for two. Again, this is what I'm saying about pitchers. They raked this year. <laughs> yeah. Keep throwing that fastball inside the trout. I promise you, that's not going to work for you. It's not the best plan. I knew it was coming and I'm still late. At least we put up three. We're pitching great so far. So we're just going to try to keep getting quick outs here. Let's go with the cutter away. He's still aggressive. He has not changed his approach at all yet. So again, we're going to keep what our approach, our pitching approach. Let's keep letting him get himself out here. Throw the same pitch. He's going to take the same swing. I mean, I why throw anything different? Entry. This time, instead of throwing the cutter and giving him the same look, we're going to throw the slider low and away. But it has to be a ball. It has to be a ball. He's just going to strike out. Again? Why change our pitching approach if he's not going to change his hitting approach? He's swinging at everything. We're not going to throw him a strike. Let's go with the circle change here, but off the plate. Please dot it. That is not where we wanted it, but again, he swings at everything. He's going to roll it over. We get another one, two, three inning. This is working out well for us. <laughs> I've hit seven foul balls as I bat. All early. And then I try to sit back and I take that. Chase Ugly got no power for me. He has none at all. Are you going with our plan? Just throw strikes here. Get him to chase. Finally, he didn't swing at a pitch, but here I have a feeling he's gonna be aggressive, so we're gonna go back inside with the same cutter. Good take. This is where I want to go tunnel. We're going with the cutter. We have to dot it. Ah, I'm gonna throw that again. I got two one. Throw that again. We got way too much play there. Got away with it. From here, I can throw two pitches to strike him out. I can throw a curveball exactly in that same spot that the cutter, um, that where the cutter was located, and try to get him swinging in the dirt. Or I can go slider. Here, we're gonna go with the curveball in the same exact spot, and we get the swing and miss. If you notice, I lined that curveball up right where the cutter ended okay i didn't line it up i'll show you in a second i didn't line it up so the, the cutter ended up right here so i threw it right here i didn't throw it here i didn't throw it here i threw it right in the same spot so it looked exactly like the pitch before that's kind of the definition of tunneling see we threw the sinker All to make the that pitch look alike we can throw a cutter off that and it looks like the sinker but it's going the other way and he's so early on it. And from here, I can throw anything I want. Anything I want. We're going to strike him out on the slider away, though. Good take. One ball, two Let's go. Curve in the dirt. He's been chasing it. And he took it. So now, the reverse tunnel. We, we showed you the tunnel before. This time, we throw the cutter lower and in. He could be ready for it, but it's still a good pitch. And we get him looking. That is how you tunnel. He's going to be out in front of this pitch. We're going to go change up. I can't nope. throw his change up. Counts one and oh. There it is. Waited back too long. Corbin Burns is just dominating my opponent right now. Hey, I kept the ball fair right off the third base bag. Say it first, Roberto. That was such an awful pitch, but it was even a worse swing. Pitching is all about getting your opponent off balance. That is it. You got to get your opponent off balance. You got to know or you got to try to think what he wants to see and then throw the opposite of that. If he's been early, 
Oh, don't give him him. pitches inside, or if you do give him pitches inside, throw it way inside so he gets himself out, right? If they start adjusting, then you start adjusting. It's all mind games. It's chess. Ah. Uh, I am hitting so bad this game. We're lucky we're pitching well. Oh. I haven't thrown his curveball at all this game, but there's no reason to start throwing it now. We'll keep that in the bag until we need it. Another one pitch out. He has not adjusted to that cutter away. Again, why change our approach? He finally took it. Oh, and one. Let's go with the slider this time. It's a little bit slower for him to react to. Ah, exact swing we wanted. Just got the early hit. If we threw that for a ball, it's probably an out. But again, there's another. Yeah, that's nothing we can do with that. This is a scary at bat. He can make this a one run game really quick. I want a double play here. He's been aggressive. If we locate this, we can get a double play. Good take. Yeah. This is a very, very scary at bat here. See, this is when when your opponents start being they start being very patient. They wait for their pitch. They're looking in one spot. Just gotta get them off balance, right? What's he looking for here? That's what you gotta think. What is my opponent looking for here? He's probably looking for something inside or up in the zone. Anything he can drive here. So we gotta try to get him off balance any way possible. So I'm gonna throw the curveball here. I haven't thrown it one time. We again, he was late on that. That's a good swing. That's a good pitch. That's the type of result we want. But sometimes you're just gonna get beat, you know? He's just late. Nothing we can do there. Again, he's looking for a bomb here. What can we do to get him off balance or try to get a double play here? That's not the pitch. Not a cutter. I think we gotta get strike one here. Let's go change up away. That's that's perfect. Now off that we go. We tunnel it again with the cutter. Hopefully a double play here. Ball one. Now we're getting the look away. This is when we go inside, but we go way more inside. So if he swings, it's an out. Perfect. Just perfect. So who's up now? Who is up now for him? Jose Ramirez. He's a pitch hitter on deck. He's, I don't think he's going to swing at strike one here. I don't. So we're going to kind of give him something that's still tough to drive. But if we locate it, if he swings, he can get out. Amazing. This video is coming out so perfect. It's literally yeah. This is a pitching clinic for you guys. No way. No way. I was about to say, is Corbin Burr three for three? Just don't have the timing. Just don't have the timing. The problem right now with my time in this game is if I'm early on those inside pitches and he keeps spamming those inside pitches, I foul it. If I'm if I wait back any longer, I get out. I can't find that timing. I'm squaring it up. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. Eighth inning. He got a pitch hitter. Again, I've only thrown a curveball one time. We're gonna go right back to the curveball. But instead of throwing it low, I love throwing it middle away. It's so hard to score up in that spot. I missed my spot though. I kept that way too high. If I hit my spot and I throw that kind of for a ball outside, that's probably an out. Now we're in a situation. We're in a situation where he will probably be aggressive with the way he's shown. But we're gonna go cutter and see he swings that first pitch. That got a little too much plate. But he is aggressive, and he's late on it. Let's give him a pitch he hasn't seen yet. He hasn't seen this pitch yet. Oh my, we got so lucky. That was the, that went right down the middle. Sometimes, you just gotta be lucky. Sometimes, you just gotta be lucky. Okay, we have two outs. That was a great, I mean, that was a perfect swing from him. Well, look at this. Freeze-offs are back in MLB The Show 22. We have, we're pitching a gem. He has a perfect, perfect out, and it freezes. Well, obviously, this guy's not leaving because he thinks he's going to win this game, but, you know, it is what it is. I really think we got deep enough in the game to where you guys should have learned a lot of things about how to become a better pitcher in this game. This was a great video. I really think this pitching video came out so much better than just a typical tips video. And if you guys did enjoy this style of tips video, Please 
let me know in the comment section below because I will redo my hitting tips video and I'll do it where this exact style video but I'm just hitting and going over my thoughts of hitting and what I'm looking for and all of that stuff so you guys and did if you guys did enjoy that video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the thumbs up and as always I would appreciate it if you guys can turn on that notification bell so you get notified when every video is live and until next time I love you guys I appreciate you guys and I'm out